Welcome to the preview video for the first Tuesday of the month, May 2023 shop sale for homeremade.online. I'm just going to be showing you a few of the items that I'll be listing for May. So first up, we have this beautiful Moriage uh, Japanese bowl that will be listed. It's got some great details uh, of the figures. The florals are just beautiful. And um, that's going to be one of the first things listed. There's a set of six of these beautiful glasses. I'll get a closer look here. Fred Press, I believe, is the artist that did these. Let me find it here. Not, it's not written on there, but it's Fred, Fred Press, I believe, did these. And I've got a few pieces of pottery that I'm going to be listing. Um, the pottery that I pick up is always handmade. This is a beautiful uh, candlestick uh, signed on the bottom by Lori, it looks like. No. What is it? I don't even know. I can't make out the signature. I'm, but it does have an imprint of a little flower. So I'm going to have to do some investigation on that one. But uh, it's just beautiful. A beautiful candlestick. And I do have a huge collection of these carnival glass uh, glasses. <clears throat> you can see the lines. And I believe I have a set of about 12 of these, as well as this goes with the lot, the carnival glass candle holder, which you can see is just beautiful. So that's going to be listed. A Talavera, let's see, I would say duck beautifully painted and it's got the oh i'm sorry tanala uh mexico tanala mexico uh, duck and you know how i am with birds so that one's going to be listed as well as a smaller version and it is marked, but I believe it's covered up. But this one has some beautiful painting on it. And it has a very different quality to the clay um, than the bigger one does. This just has, it's a completely different type of art. More pottery. I'm going to include this set of pottery goblets which I think are just beautiful. They're just gorgeous. And they are signed. This amazing candlestick, which has this um, satin glass for the leaf and then the glass for the bud, which I just think is, is beautiful. This is, I did Google this and I forgot who made it. Um, it's not Mikasa. I know that for sure. But um, when I saw this, I just grabbed it right away and I knew it was special. Then I'm going to be listing this teapot, which is absolutely breathtaking. The gold mixed with the floral, it does have moriage on it, and it has a number. Now that leads me to believe that it is um, English, but I'm not for sure. I'm going to have to do a little research on this before I list it. This mid-century modern 
coffee pot, which I think is just, it's just beautiful. I actually listed this somewhere else and it just never, never sold. And I'm like, are you crazy? There's absolutely nothing wrong with this. And it's beautiful. And this is a little out of season, but I'm going to go ahead and list these. I have this pair of gorgeous little egg, egg cups that both have little bunnies on them. Um, they're not marked, but they're just a nice little pair of egg cups. Buy them and save them for next Easter. And these, I believe, are USA. <clears throat> it's a salt and pepper shaker set. Um, I just love the color, the glaze of these. Um, yep, they are marked USA. Uh, they both have their stoppers. And they've got, I mean, these remind me of lighthouses. So, these should be a good seller. This brass piece, which I fell in love with when I saw it, it's pretty big and it's pretty weighty, but I thought that, oh, it's just beautiful. I literally just grabbed this off the shelf and took it immediately. There is hardly any oxidation on this just a few spots on the inside but easily cleaned up so that's going to be listed and then we'll get into some smaller things this is a gorgeous little trinket box and it's a turtle again i had this listed somewhere else and Everybody wanted to give me like five dollars for it and I'm like no this is worth more and I'm not going to just settle because someone took a lot of time with this it's a piece of artwork I mean if you look at the shell look at that the detailing on the painting on this no so that's gonna go on my website I showed this in my uh, in my unboxing sales, but this is a beautiful shell figurine. Um, it's got no markings, but it's definitely not USA. Um, I'm again. I'm gonna have to do the research once more to figure out where this came from. Um, it's my guess would be South American, um, but just gorgeous. And I think she's perfect for my online store. A piece of carnival glass that I found that, oh my gosh, you can just see how the light hits this. It's beautiful. Like setting this in a kitchen with a, a huge window and just putting your fruit in it would be gorgeous. So, this is definitely going in my shop sale. I found this piece of art glass, which has some lovely blue lines going through it. And um, I'll show you the base. It's very sturdy when it sits. And I just think it's, you know, it has the basket handle. I think this is really cool. So I picked that right up. I have this little dish um, with a rooster on it. I like to include some smaller items in my shop sales and it was made in Mexico. So another piece of uh, handmade and hand painted pottery. I've got the Silver Crest Fenton, which I'm going to list. Not altogether 
uncommon, yet you don't really find this thrifting every day. And so when I found it, I knew exactly what it was and I grabbed it. So that's going to be going in my shop sale. Going along with my theme, this pressed glass rooster is going to be listed. And this, this is amazing. It's an amazing piece of artwork for a plate. It's very collectible. I had it listed again somewhere else and everybody just wanted to throw pennies. And this is not an I'm going to accept pennies for item. So I decided that this is better suited for my online store, for someone who looks at it and appreciates its value. And lastly, this lovely dish. It's a, a small serving bowl with some lovely hand painting of the florals and the vines. And it is Royal Dalton and it says Tonkin. I'll give you a better view. But that will also be listed in my May shop sale. Now this is not all. I will have many other items listed, but these are just the first few items that I'm showing. And you can look forward to seeing quite a few other things mixed in. So go to homeremade.online on the first Tuesday of May, and all of this will be listed. See you there.